Uh, when you heard over the weekend that he had torn his pec, uh, did you imagine he was going to have the match that he did, uh, cut the promo that he did on Monday, and be the biggest, most giant baby face in all of wrestling, and then have to go take six months off? Like, what's good? I know. Like, this is a crazy thing that just happened. Well, the unpredictability about pro wrestling is the thing that makes it so interesting. So when when they when I did Dave, who I don't know who reported it first, but I think Dave had mentioned initially that it was a um, a gym incident. But first of all, did you see how big Cody's gotten? He's big, man. He's he's, he's, he's a big, been... like he he put on some size since coming in. I mean, he so, looks great. I, he, actually. I, mean, he I think great, but... I think he put on that. There there was a time in aew where he was off tv for a little bit and when he came back i was like okay he's doing less cutting and, and more power stuff because he was just bulkier yeah and um you know i think he's probably still he's still doing that stuff right now and you know uh, unfortunately supposedly hurt himself from from the weightlifting but yeah i mean he, he you know it's uh it, it's it's here's i mean y you are still in you know you know you are not yet 40 but what i realized is lifting when you get older your power doesn't really leave you until you you know until you get much older or until you get hurt because i was able to lift uh and keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger up until my early 40s so you know it's easier to do that than it is to really lean out as you get older so maybe that's also yeah. part of it you know he's now in his mid 30s or whatever so putting on bulk is probably easier for him and and being super slim and, and trim is probably a lot harder so maybe he's just like let's just get bigger man yeah i you know and also he's around a lot bigger guys too i think that kind of plays a part in it too but he looked i mean he was looking fantastic he was on the, the run of his life uh so unfortunate i feel for him for sure but i i when i heard that he tore his pec i was like oh there's no way he's competing like what is he gonna do and then i i actually thought it would be like you know he comes in he tries to he gets beat down and they pin him you know but they they did not they had a they had a match and yes. i mean was it the best hell in a cell no but was it is it going to be one of the most memorable ones now a hundred percent it was super compelling it was super oh, compelling they made him I, I i mean he was already a big time baby face there and he was getting i mean he was going to consistently grow from there because i i there's something special about this run for a lot yeah. of people. Uh, now, when he comes back, that pop is going to be like Hunter returning in 2002 with the Garden. If it's what? not, then they have a big problem. So I actually thought, I still like the WrestleMania match the best out of all of them. But man, when, when has there been a series of matches this strong between two folks just back to back to back like they did? Like all three matches are, you know, four star plus matches. Yeah. No, and they ran how many? 17 matches on the house show loop? Something like that? Something absurd. So, yes, I mean, these guys, they were married, you know? They, they were married on the road, and they were working uh, heavy. Uh, they, they really meshed great together. A lot of people didn't expect that. Uh, now he's out at least, I mean, four to six months, right? John Cena returned in four months, but he's un unnaturally human. Uh, yeah. Hunter came in five, right? He returned in five months. After giant. he is <laughs> bigger than ever. He's a, he's a giant. <laughs> he uh, came back like so much, so much uh, more jacked than he left. That was the amazing part of it. Well, I think I think Cody's going to come back and he's going to be in remarkable shape. But, you know, this is a you know, now what do you do? This was his his run, right? The next six months, eight months, nine months, whatever it is, was his moment. And now you need to reposition everything. This this kind of hurts the storyline. But, you know, for the first time in a long time, WWE has a tremendous baby face on their hands. Okay, but what do they do with him not there? Because he's not there, and now they don't have a tremendous baby face on their hands. They have a, a, a big hole in not only in main eventers, but in baby faces as well. Like, who's, who's there? Because, who, you know, we, we, I did this thing. I was asking people in my uh, the, the Fight Game uh, Media Facebook group. I was like, if you had the opportunity to make somebody like a top baby face, like maybe there's a mid card baby face who's doing well, like who could you just, you know, turn the key on and go, okay, we're going to do this. And you know, some, some answers were like, Oh, madcap and not, you know, madcap is, is, is really cool. And he's not overexposed. So if you I really want right to go for it. Okay. Edge. 
Orton. Okay, but Riddle. Okay, okay, so Riddle right now. Okay, so I think Orton is is what's eventually going to happen, right? He's going to return. He's probably returning sooner than he was because they they now need him. Um, Edge. uh, He just went heel, cut his hair, wearing suits, getting into this character. And it was what was it two months? Did they do this? I, I don't know how long it was. But, not even. Uh, not yeah, even two months, right? right now. So it, it's almost like uh, I don't know if this is the result uh, of the Cody thing or if this was always the plan. Was that because now to me, Judgment Day is back to mid card city. Edge was the one that was keeping it as a main event program. So I kind of feel bad for those folks. But uh, Riddle is 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 a great one, except. The way that they use him is every time they need a babyface to lose, it's him. Can they change that mentality? And can they actually make him a vain eventer? Or is he going to go into this feud with Roman and he's just going to lose to the Usos every time on the way up yeah. to this match? Like they need, they really need to change their mentality in the way that they book him if they do want him to be that guy. Hey, and then Cena, right? Cena's uh, possibly back. How many matches is this guy going to do? One, I probably, mean, right? SummerSlam, right? SummerSlam, maybe Cardiff. Tickets, uh, you do SummerSlam, you do Cardiff, and then uh, maybe two, maybe three. What I would, I mean, obviously, you know what I would do, man? I would be like, you know what? World title match for the first time, long time on Raw or SmackDown. Put it on Tassina. See what happens. <laughs> Why not? Oh, it's, all, it's all up in the air anyway, right? Like, I'm, I'm serious. You, they really... <laughs> And, and it's so crazy that we're talking about this in 2022. Cena's been gone for a little bit. Yep. They just got that baby face that they've wanted, you know, that all-American baby face, and it went away. They just, it, 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 not their fault. Drew, Drew's another one they got, right? Drew's another baby face. And they're no one saving on the level that one. Of, yeah, no one on the level of, of um, Cody right now, but... I, I actually think that babyface positioning is not not bad if they if they do compelling stories and everything. I, I think they could get some of these guys into that top position until he comes back. But man, what a terrible time for this to happen! 